out with Eric. Oh, this day is really going to be so much better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, Ross, I can't make lunch. <laughs> so apparently I'm available for lunch. And I'm busy. I'm apartment hunting. You're moving? Yeah, well, I can't live with Joey once the baby comes. I don't want my child's first words to be, how you doing? <laughs> So does, does Joey know you're moving? Well, I haven't discussed it with him yet, but I know he's going to be relieved. Last week, he brought this girl over, and I started talking to her about morning sickness, and then I showed her pictures from my pregnancy book. That's not really porn. No, it's so much. And you know what? And if you're looking for a place, I just heard in the elevator this morning that a woman in my building died. Oh, my god. Was she old? Does she have a view? <laughs> Well, I don't know, but how, how great would that be, huh? You living in my building? I could help take care of the baby. I could come over whenever I want, with your permission. Oh, that really would be great. Yeah. Well, can we see it? Oh, maybe we shouldn't. I mean, if she just died this morning, out of respect. Yeah, no. No, you're right. Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Yes? Hi, I'm Ross Geller. I live in the building. And I'm Rachel, an admirer of the building. <laughs> I, I heard about Mrs. Verhoeven passing away, and I'm so sorry for your loss. She didn't pass away. What? My mother's still alive. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it looked like we were going to lose her this morning, but she's a tough old bird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you close with her? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, yeah, she and I would talk all the time in, in the laundry room. You speak Dutch. Zer verert un vriend van mijn moeder te ontmoten. You know, I would, but it's just too painful. <laughs> so, she's really not dead? No. She's hanging in there. Mm. Do you think, could you tell me, is she hanging in in a, in a one bedroom or a two? <laughs> Mrs. Bain, this tile cleaner is incredible. Where did you get it? Oh, well, um, I make it myself. <laughs> it's two parts ammonia and one part lemon juice. And now, the secret ingredient is, you know what? We just met. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go get the clothes from the laundry room now, and when I come back, I'll clean behind the refrigerator. I love her. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Okay. See, I told you. She stole my jeans! <laughs> what? I have been looking for them all week, and she is wearing them. So, she stole your pants, and then she came back and wore them in front of you? Don't you see? It's the perfect crime. She must have been planning this for years. I will prove it to you, okay? About a week ago, I was wearing those jeans, and I dropped a pen in my lap, and it left an ink stain on the crotch. Now, when she comes back, I will find it and show you that stain. Honey, isn't it possible that the company that sold the jeans made more than just the one pair? I guess. So, shouldn't we give her the benefit of the doubt before we go snooping around her crotch? Fine. I'm just glad I didn't give her my secret ingredient. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what is your secret ingredient? Yeah. 